Welcome to Tesla Car World. In today's episode, we'll come with a recent revelation that's really caused controversy about the appearance of a new variant of the Cybertruck with a front-wheel drive motor, a surprise in the electric truck segment, and some designs was leaked. Besides, it's hard to argue with Tesla's breakthrough in car sales, especially Model 3 and Y, as well as the progress of purchasing 100,000 units for the electric car fleet in the US. Finally, Tesla appears to be planning to extend its supercharger-friendly environment for the electric vehicle ecosystem in the future. All will bring surprises that will make you change your mind and own an electric car right now. How will these latest updates shock you? Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. First up in today's episode, we'll come to the new discoveries about Cybertruck appearing with rare features on the streets. When the upcoming release date may bring a slight price increase compared to the initial plan due to factors affecting production costs. However, what if you could own a Cybertruck variant for under $39,000? We believe that's an option not to be excluded as it aligns with Tesla's product pricing strategy aimed at making electric vehicles accessible to all. In a surprising turn, we've discovered recent diagrams of the Cybertruck's drivetrain that have added complexity to Tesla's initial plans. The base Cybertruck appears to have a single front-mounted motor, indicating the possibility of a front-wheel drive FWD variant. Front-wheel drive systems are commonly found in passenger cars and are not typically the first choice for trucks designed for heavy-duty tasks like towing and off-roading. Weight distribution in a pickup truck is crucial for such tasks, and a front-wheel drive system might impact the utility of the Cybertruck. However, the Cybertruck may implement a similar technology as the Semi to disengage the motor. Gears and drive shafts to the rear will serve specific functions to enhance towing efficiency and disconnect when driving on stable roads. Furthermore, a front-wheel drive system offers better efficiency in cold, snowy climates providing a more authentic driving experience, even for beginners in snowy terrains. Front-wheel drives often used in sedans or hatchbacks for cost-effectiveness, which could result in a more affordable version of the Cybertruck during challenging economic times and inflation. Additionally, Tesla vehicle designer Franz von Halsen drove the Cybertruck to visit colleagues and former students at Art Center Invitational, providing inspiration to the students. Moreover, university students embarked on a mission to measure the Cybertruck's massive and robust wiper arm, which turned out to be unprecedentedly long at 50 inches, surpassing the longest wiper arms produced by Napa, typically at 40 inches. Upon close observation, the enormous wiper arm of the Tesla Cybertruck consists of two smaller wiper blades stacked beneath each other. This design provides a wider reach to cover nearly the entire windshield. Certainly, this is a significant win for the Cybertruck, emphasizing the excellence of attention to detail. A new video on X has given us a direct look at the truck bed, including the operation of the powered tonu cover, which produces a sound similar to a high-speed train when closing. The bed looks visually appealing and safe with its protective shell. We believe most people will drive with the tonu cover closed. In a departure from traditional truck configurations, the Cybertruck's tonu cover introduces an intriguing challenge. It obstructs the rearview mirror. To address this, a digital mirror solution has been ingeniously integrated, a feature that came to light during nocturnal test drives, adding to the Cybertruck's adaptability to various driving conditions. The Cybertruck's undeniable allure and novelty aren't confined to its design and technology alone. Observing the social dynamics around this cutting-edge vehicle, one can't help but notice the curiosity and enthusiasm of onlookers. Passers-by and curious bystanders frequently request the Cybertruck owner to unveil the tonu cover and lower the tailgate, showcasing the Cybertruck's interactive appeal. Remarkably, the video illustrates that every facet of this process operates with seamless precision, further enhancing the overall user experience. It's a testament to the integration of advanced technology, remote control functionality, and the practicality that the Cybertruck embodies, solidifying its status as a pioneering innovation in the realm of electric trucks. Are you ready to own a Cybertruck after its release date? Next, the Model Y recently seems to be dominating the EV market wherever Tesla appears. Only in September, the Model Y is considered the best-selling new car in New Zealand with 697 registered purchases, 
followed by the Toyota RAV4 with 683 registrations and the Ford Ranger with 605. The Tesla Model Y started deliveries in New Zealand in August 2022 and has since established itself in the country's automotive market. In the same month, Tesla led in electric vehicle sales in New Zealand, despite competition from both the Model 3 and Model Y. Available in various markets, the Model Y and Model 3 serve as the driving forces behind Tesla's appeal in the mass market, offering a compelling combination of range, performance, and cutting-edge technology, all while being sold at or below the average transaction price of new vehicles in the United States. Tesla's success has extended beyond the United States to four major European markets, including Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, and has made significant strides in the Chinese market. Recently, we heard that it broke the records for the highest annual sales in Denmark with 12,944 units, surpassing the previous record of 12,940 units set by the Volkswagen Up in 2013. With two months left in the year, the Model Y has an opportunity to further elevate this record. Additionally, Tesla has recently implemented a slight price increase for the Model Y Long Range AWD in the US, indicating that demand may have exceeded expectations following previous price reductions. It now retails for an additional $500, bringing the Model Y Long Range's price to $48,990 only slightly higher, around 1%, compared to the previous price. The $2,000 price reduction in early October has demonstrated that these minor price increases are insignificant. The price reduction from earlier in the year has yielded results, with Tesla selling 284,498 Model Y units in the first three quarters in the U.S. market. Thus, there's no secret that Tesla's very confident in the global success of the Model Y. According to our cumulative sales statistics, the Model Y and Model 3 have indeed surpassed 2 million units. In fact, the Model Y is just behind the Model 3 with 2.16 million units sold since its 2020 release, while the Model 3 has sold 2.20 million units. Therefore, the Model Y is expected to overtake the Model 3 in the final quarter of 2023 to become the best-selling electric vehicle of all time. In fact, it'll only take an additional three and a half years to add two million more orders. As the best-selling electric vehicle brand for consumers, a recent study shows that Tesla is also the most popular electric vehicle brand for fleet purchases in the United States. Tesla vehicles make up nearly one-third of fleet electric vehicle purchases, with the Model 3 and Model Y being among the most common vehicles purchased for rental, corporate, and government fleets. Perhaps the most eye-catching fleet purchase deal began in 2021, when Tesla and Hertz jointly entered into a deal to purchase 100,000 electric vehicles. Finally, we'll close out today's episode with the latest news on the supercharger network. Recently, it seems that Tesla's increasing the number of supercharging stations for electric vehicles across the United States. Ford and Tesla have modified their agreement for the North American charging standard, Interestingly, Ford announced that they'll add more than 15,000 Tesla supercharger stalls to their network, exceeding the previous estimate of 12,000 stalls set in May 2023. This allows Ford vehicle owners to access Tesla supercharger stations in both Canada and the United States. For Tesla owners, this over 15,000 number doesn't mean that foreign owners will have access to the entire supercharger network in North America. Currently, there are 24,346 supercharger stalls opened in Canada and the United States. Along with the supercharger update, Ford also announced three new agreements with other charging partners in Canada and the U.S. Francis Energy, Blink, and Red E are now part of the Green Oval Charging Network, adding over 10,000 new chargers, including more than 550 new fast DC chargers to the network. This plan will increase the total number of charging stations to over 106,000 in the United States. Tesla is also planning to close the year with supercharger expansion, starting construction on three new superchargers in Alberta, Manitoba, and Quebec, expanding their network in Canada, which has recently moved up nine positions in the ranking. Many people have been complaining about the dire state of electric vehicle charging infrastructure with most various charging stations showing signs of aging and malfunctioning. Among all the charging options available, only Tesla's supercharger network remains fast and reliable, gradually expanding its coverage across the U.S. 
Agreements between other automakers committing to the NACS charging standard are expected to make the market more uniform with the extensive charging network that Tesla offers to its users. British Petroleum, or BP, an oil and energy company, has decided to purchase the hardware of Tesla superchargers, perhaps in the hope that people will forget their responsibility for one of the worst oil pollution disasters in history when their Deepwater Horizon oil rig catastrophically collapsed causing a massive oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It seems they've realized the need for a long-term change in the future to compensate for their past actions. The $100 million deal has been confirmed following a period of safety and hardware evaluation for the superchargers. This will allow BP to establish an additional 2,000 supercharger stalls in the United States at a cost of $50,000 per stall. BP's EV charging division is called BP Pulse. In a report, the company stated that this investment will facilitate the expansion of the public BP Pulse charging network across the United States and support customers in using electric vehicles by deploying chargers at their own facilities. Incorporating Tesla superchargers into BP Pulse marks the first time that Tesla chargers will be used for an independent EV charging network. Deployment is set to begin in 2024, with initial installation locations identified in Houston, Phoenix, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Washington, D.C., as well as at third-party locations such as Hertz Rental Centers. Why did BP choose to buy Tesla's charging hardware? Tesla has demonstrated exceptional prowess in the early phases of testing its charging stations, with the V3 supercharger system standing out as a highly reliable option. Furthermore, the recently deployed V4 charging stations are poised to elevate performance even further. Leveraging their accumulated experience, coupled with a relentless pursuit of enhancements driven by real-world usage, Tesla's charging infrastructure is undoubtedly a top-tier choice. For BP Pulse, the opportunity to harness Tesla's cutting-edge hardware for their own network is too compelling to ignore. The removal of barriers between Tesla and non-Tesla electric vehicles signals a turning point. Tesla's hardware, renowned for its quality and innovation, can now be a valuable asset for any charging service provider. Integrating Tesla's industry-leading hardware into the BP Pulse network signifies a significant stride in the ambitions of one of the foremost automakers. It bolsters the endeavor to establish a robust, high-speed, open-access charging infrastructure in the United States, all while delivering an exceptional experience to customers. Notably, Tesla charging stations within the BP Pulse network will accommodate electric vehicles equipped with Combined Charging System or NACS North American Charging Standard, ensuring inclusivity and compatibility. Moreover, they'll offer support for the plug and charge protocol, simplifying the user access process. BP's investment commitment to the United States electric vehicle charging infrastructure is substantial, with plans to inject $1 billion into the sector by 2030. The initial infusion of $500 million over the next two to three years underscores their commitment to bioenergy, convenience, electric vehicle charging, hydrogen renewables, and energy as part of a holistic strategy. In a broader context, the electric vehicle industry is on the cusp of a remarkable transformation, with the imminent launch of numerous electric car factories and a burgeoning wave of electric vehicle battery manufacturing plants. This evolution extends to the manufacturing of electric vehicle charging equipment, marking a significant milestone in the sustainable mobility ecosystem's growth and development. BP Pulse is actively and swiftly expanding its global high-speed charging infrastructure, taking significant strides to instill trust and confidence among consumers who have embraced electric vehicles. The pace of their expansion efforts is remarkable having witnessed a remarkable surge in charging points by a staggering 150% since 2019. This upward trajectory is set to continue its ascent across numerous countries, demonstrating the company's unwavering commitment to fostering sustainable mobility. A particular emphasis is being placed on the swift and ultra-fast charging options within their network, effectively addressing the pressing demand for rapid direct current DC charging solutions. This shift towards fast charging technologies reflects a strategic move to eliminate the time-consuming nature of level two charging practices that have been prevalent within the company. The United Kingdom stands as a testament to their accomplishments with BP Pulse establishing itself as one of the largest electric charging point operators in the nation. Meanwhile, across the border in Germany, 
Auropulse stands at the forefront, reigning as the premier electric charging point operator, setting new standards for speed and efficiency in the industry. In the vast expanses of the United States, BP is poised to revolutionize the landscape by offering comprehensive energy management and electric vehicle charging solutions tailored for fleet operations. Their innovative approach promises to optimize energy costs while maximizing vehicle utilization, a move that will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the adoption of EVs across the nation. The implications of this global expansion extend far beyond the mere proliferation of charging points. This concerted effort to establish a robust charging network creates a warm and inviting environment for EV enthusiasts, especially those with affordable electric car models that boast relatively modest travel ranges. This shift is transformative, as long-distance travel no longer hinges on the limitations of battery range. Instead, consumers will prioritize attributes such as unique design, affordability, and exceptional service from providers paving the way for a new era in electric mobility where convenience and experience take precedence over range anxiety. What do you think about the future of the EV industry? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.